Hey guys, and welcome to your two minute money manager. I'm your host, Stacy Johnson, and this answer is brought to you by MoneyTalksNews.com, serving up the best in personal finance news and advice since 1991. Today's question comes to us from Carla. Carla says, people on TV are saying now's the time to get the bargain of a lifetime in stocks, but the market keeps going down and I'm afraid of losing. How do you know when it's time to buy after a market crash? This is a great question, Carla, and we're going to talk about it. Before we do, let me give you a little perspective on where we are, just in case you're watching this days, weeks, or even months after I recorded it. <clears throat> right now, we're right in the middle of a, of a pandemic the coronavirus pandemic, and as a result of the economic uh, repercussions of that pandemic, the market has fallen a whole, a whole bunch, and unemployment is creeping up. Things are looking really bad. A recession right around the corner. So that gives you a little context of where we are, but I'm also going to talk about basic things so that you can use the knowledge you're going to learn today and future crashes, because believe me, they're going to be. So I'm going to try to speak as generally as I can. Okay. Now, Let's get back to the topic. When the market falls a lot, especially in a short amount of time, stocks start looking really tempting. The problem, the market could fall more. There's an old Wall Street expression, don't try to catch a falling knife. So how do you know when things are bottoming? How do you know when it's time to buy? Well, you obviously don't know, but here are some of the tools that I've used over the last 40 years to decide when to buy after a market downturn. Number one, I look to buy when we begin to solve the underlying problem. Now, your first clue that things may soon turn around is when the underlying problem starts getting resolved. For example, the coronavirus. Now, <clears throat> until we could start testing people, we couldn't know the extent of the problem, much less attempt to fix it. So the lesson we learn here is until the problem and solutions are in sight, you wanna stay on the sidelines. Now, keep in mind, however, this is important. Stocks are forward looking. If you wait until the problem's fully solved, it's going to be too late. In short, you don't buy in the darkness of the tunnel. You buy when you see that light at the end of that tunnel. Does that make sense? OK, here's another thing I look for. When the sky is falling, that's the next clue it's time to buy. Here's a quote from a story I wrote years ago called The Ten Golden Rules of Becoming a Millionaire. Here's, here's what I wrote. If you think the world is truly ending, then buy canned food and a shotgun. If not, you got to step up. As billionaire investor Warren Buffett has famously advised, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. So what I'm saying here is that I like to buy when everybody else thinks it can't get any worse. Now, how do you know when it can't get any worse? You can check so-called sentiment readings like the one from the American Association of Individual Investors. What they do is they poll individual investors, and if those people are freaked out, let's say the majority of them, 70% or so, are bearish. In other words, they're negative on the market. That's a sign th things could be just about to turn around. In other words, you always want to invest when it's darkest before the dawn. So bottom line, you should never panic. But when other people do, it can create opportunity. Okay, number three thing I look for, when the cavalry rides to the rescue. That, that, what I mean by that is when the government steps up to help, help us, people like you and me, and help uh, American business. So, now, Uncle Sam has several tools to address a weak economy, including monetary stimulus. You heard of that before? That means lowering interest rates. And fiscal stimulus, which means literally putting money in people's pockets with things like tax breaks or, or even sending them a check in the mail. So fiscal and monetary stimulus are the tools the government has. And when they start breaking those bad boys out, this is a really good sign. Because if they don't, the economy could keep spiraling down, right? So it's important that the, that the government steps up. In the case of the coronavirus, the government's stepping up in a huge way. The Federal Reserve slashed interest rates to nearly zero, and Congress is falling all over themselves to pass relief packages for both businesses and us citizens. Now, if it's enough to really help, the market's going to tell you that by going up. If it's not enough, the market will express its displeasure by tanking further. I think right now we've got a pretty good stimulus package going, but who's to say whether it's going to be effective enough to keep the economy from spiraling down into a depression. So we just don't know that yet. So just remember that timing is everything. 
And one final thing I want to tell you, and then I'll be done. In the 40 years I've been investing in stocks, I've made plenty of mistakes, believe me. And one I've made consistently is failing to grasp how long it takes for major events to resolve themselves. Getting in near the bottom takes patience and a lot of reading and a lot of listening. And when you buy, average in. Don't buy everything all at once. Several purchases over time. Because if you do get in too early, then you're going to keep some powder dry. So when, you're, when your timing is off, when you got in too soon, you're going to be able to buy some more later. Now, I hope that answers your question, uh, Carla, and I hope it helps all you folks at home too. Now, what about you? Do you have a question to ask? Then do what Carla did. Simply hit reply to any of your Money Talks email newsletters and fire away. I can't answer every question, but I will do my best. And if you're not getting our newsletter, well, that's a crime. <laughs> you need to fix it right now by going to moneytalksnews.com and subscribing. It's free, takes five seconds, and you know what? It's positively, absolutely going to make you richer. I'm Stacy Johnson. I'll see you right here next time. <laughs>